Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and uh, this is episode three of Watch Dogs. So we track down uh, the guy who's been harassing my sister. Uh, we got a bit sidetracked, um, yet we found uh, where the calls are coming from. So I'm going to that location right now, <clears throat> and then we'll see how this goes. Hello. Oh, there we go. So this guy threatens my family and wants to meet. He knew exactly how to get my attention. Fine. I'll take the bait. <clears throat> okay. Let's climb on up here. Oh, hello. Forgot which button is to climb. There we go. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of hacking here. <clears throat> Let's see. So that one's done. Ooh, that goes down that way. Is there a camera that looks down that way? There is. Anything that I can access. There we go. The lift was in the way. All right. <clears throat> there we go. And we're in. What the hell is this? Bellwether. Bellwether. He's got a pretty sweet, you know, singing bass fish on the wall. Or at least I hope it's a singing bass fish. If it's not, then it's kind of worthless to hang it up there. All right. We see a smartphone. I can't access it. Man, this place is a mess. This dude is a hoarder. What video is that? Oh, look. <laughs> Far Cry 2 in the box there. Nice little Easter egg. Okay. I suffered too. I knew you'd find me. You always were one for a mystery. How are you, Aiden? Damien Brinks. The hell is he doing? I hope you don't mind the games. Wanted to see if you'd lost your edge. We need to talk. And, uh, you'll want to be quick. Breaking in like you did tripped an alarm. This isn't what I had planned for us. But we're about to be interrupted. Come find me. 
I'll pick someplace nice. Why would he harass my sister? We haven't spoken since the Merlot. The Merlot. You better run. Okay. Looks like there's a new target for all you hitters out there. Drop what you're doing and get on it. All right, we got a sniper on the roof. We got cars coming in. Looks like it is going down. All right, let's take out the sniper. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see. Get close, get close. Got one. Can explode him. Nice. All right. Oh, I missed. There we go. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. I did not see him there. I knew someone was... Okay. Oh, not the chain... Yeah. Let's use a chain link fence for cover. Come on, man. Okay. Got one more fixer over there, and I cannot spot him. There he is. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. That was fun. All right, Damien. Let's talk. Fake. Damien's in the park, it looks like. Let's go meet him. All right. Let's find us a car. <clears throat> no, right down the street. Nice. Not a great parking job. Super cool. Leaving a phone out in the rain? That's not a good idea. Oh no, that's not a phone, that's a light. <laughs> a clever boy. Miss me? You had that punk call my sister. Why am I here, Damien? It is a phone. You're also grim, eh? My God. Don't you ever loosen up? I want my partner back. Me at the computer. You in the field doing the manly work. I'm here to help you. We both want the same things. Answers? Who attacked us? And I happen to know that you've hit a wall. Now, I figure 
So, I come bearing glad tidings. The Merlot. The Merlot? Mm -hmm. The Merlot was your fuck up. Bullshit. You bailed on a perfectly good scheme. No one would have found out if you just stood by me. Six year old girl. My niece died because you went too far. Oh, you're adorable. Blaming your family problems on me? Damien crossed the line, he made the bad man angry. What about me? What about you? You're not the only one suffering. They made me crippled. They took everything from me. What'd you say? That's what binds us together. Did he also make you grow that soul patch? You got nothing I need. There was another hacker. There was a second hacker. And I know how to find him. And that may be, Damien. But you can't do it on your own. You need me. Your big problem is... I don't need you. Don't walk away. This is a lead. Thanks for the tip. What's up with everybody wearing four layers of clothing? He's got a t-shirt, a button-up, a vest, and a jacket with the super nice leather patches on the elbow. That's great. I mean, I guess it is Chicago. It's probably a bit chilly. I used to look up to Damien. Taught me how to ferret out weak code and exploit it. But I taught him how to do the same without a computer. People can be more vulnerable than their systems. We were a strong team. Ooh, the Titus Corporation. After Lena, I was done with him. Are, are, are you done with your ex? Waste time thinking about him. But now he's creeping back in. I need to know what he's got on the Merlot. <laughs> Every time I think he's done talking, uh, the Titus Corporation they play a big part in um, in Watch Dogs Two. There's a really cool mission where you have to break into their their automated uh, factory, and uh, there's no real people in there. It's all robots. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can't read what that says back there. Promise Bank or something bank? That's cool. All right, what's next? Let's see. What is our next stop? Okay. Um, not that way. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go. Do you trust your government? I mean, not really? Hey look, it's a dead sec bro broadcast. We control the bridges and lights to show you how easy it is to be controlled. Do not give up control. We are the guardians of democracy. We are vigilant against lies and of transmission. Hmm. You have to think about how great oh, the art department is uh, for for these games. I mean, every little advertisement you see, someone had to design those. Every you know everything, and 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 you don't see them being repeated very often. It really does feel like an entire like a real city, right? Um, but these are some of the best designed advertisements I've ever seen in a video game. They have to build a city's worth of logos and ads and billboards just to make it feel realistic. And that's actually pretty cool. I, uh, I applaud. Because imagine how long it would take. You know, Mayor how much Rush work. Mayor Rushmore is reaching out to Chicagoans after a hotly contested election. Despite anger in some quarters over his surprise victory, Rushmore insists he's working for all citizens and it's business as usual at City Hall. So I know it probably doesn't look as impressive due to you know, YouTube's compression algorithms and stuff, um, but playing this game on a pretty decent monitor and uh, and just seeing it in real time, the the light reflecting off of the off of the pavement there, the raindrops. This game came out in 2013, 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. 
it's it's ridiculously gorgeous for coming out at around that time. This game looks a whole lot better than it needs to. All right, getting close. Stop for a second. Oh, no. I want my skills. How do I get... Oh, I guess I can't. I'm in the car. They won't let me do it in the car. Okay, here we go. St. Joseph's Cemetery. Really quickly. Still won't let me access my skills, huh? Oh. I have to do it through the app, that's why. I keep forgetting about this. Uh... Alright, let's see. Let's hack bridges. Okay. Wow. Um, he actually looks even douchier without the douchey jacket. Weird. Do you know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. The flower fairy. But that girl has a lot of friends. Really? Who Pat. are they? This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but you have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden, I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger, because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I mean, not really, no, but kind of. I don't blame you. I do. A little but bit. Promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. You're standing there at your dead niece's grave and you're staring at your phone. You got a problem. The survivor from the stadium. That guy talks, he'll ID you. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now, relax, I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. 
perfect. Survivor, how did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. <laughs> oh, Jordy. Oh. Watch out, I'm driving here. Uh-oh. That was your fault. Okay, time for the next mission. We get to meet up with Jordy. Let's see this conversation. We'll provide the weapons, but you need to bring your own ammo. Okay. Just to be clear, these are minimum numbers. Right. So you'll need 500 rounds of 45 ACP, full metal jacket, 300 rounds of 556, also FMJ, and 150 12 gauge shotgun shells. And make sure they're double on butt shot. That's the minimum? Jesus, it's gonna be one hell of a weekend. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I wonder what they're doing. of understatement. Can't let the survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. So, I, I mean, I... Nope. Wrong button. <laughs> so I think the reason why I'm kind of bumping up against Aiden here... Um, oh. I'll remember that thought for later. Oh, fuck. Jordy, who are they? Well, they live here. <laughs> what happened? Well, security in these buildings is pretty tight. So, people like this feel nice and secure living way up here. I mean, these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door. I guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way. All right, fine. Sure. So, about this problem. Well, that's why I brought the bolt cutters. He opens the door this much, there's a chain right there, I slip him in and snip, and guess what? It's not the pizza guy. <laughs> Jordy, the problem, let's deal with it. We are dealing with it. We're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor, let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium. He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody's paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk, and one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. 
You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? <laughs> anyway, what I was saying, um, I, I'm kinda bumping up against... Let's make this quick, okay? My balcony hosts are moaning, and that stuff gives me migraines. I get a migraine, Pierce. I am useless to you. <laughs> you think you're the only one who wants this quick? How should I know what you want? Not big on empathy, are you? Not particularly. Not particularly. What's up with this fixer contract? What are they looking for? You. Somebody wants the vigilante big time. They're about to fake a prisoner transfer to bust out the one witness who can ID you. I've never seen them gather up this kind of manpower, though. They know I'll try and stop them. Listen. The witness knows my face. The fixers reach him. If my name gets out there, they'll come after my family. Ah, uh, the F word. You're too sentimental, Pierce. That's a weakness. Somebody's gonna play that against you someday. So glad that phone works in the water. I'll cover you where I can, but I can't see everybody. All right, let's do this. So anyway, um, the reason I'm bumping up against Aiden is because he's more... He, he feels like a... Uh, like a, a detective noir type character. And um, he's a bit too serious in my opinion. Um, especially when you compare him to Marcus in Watch Dogs 2, who is one of my favorite characters. One of my, you know, I, I think he's super well written. Uh, and it's just fun to play as him. And then in Legion, it's a bit harder to connect with any of the characters because there's so many of them you can play as. So. Aiden's not terrible. He's just not as fun as, uh... I'll be watching this guy. Just not as fun to play as as Marcus. Thanks, Jordy. That's not what I want. That was not what I meant to do. Okay. All right. And we're in. He's all yours. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Who's assigned to the prison job? What? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Lance Brenner. As a family. What are you doing? I'm asking you how your family is. Looks like you got two lives going at once. Family man. And the kids are going to be in college soon. It's pricey for a union rep. Fuck. And there's also the second life. Ghost accounts with a lot of money in them. Hey. Do you know that your name is tied to a whole bunch of cold cases? I bet the cops would love a chat. Okay, hold on. You want a piece of the cash? I can cut you in. Oh, waste thanks. Time. All right, all right! Prison job. It's Angelo Tucci. He's running a convoy. 
It's too late, you'll never find him. He says I want him. Bet he's got a family in town. Why do you want his family? The fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> nice. Wake up 47, eh? Not bad. Remember Kinderhook? Shit. Okay, got an AK. Already. Go, go. Not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Always gotta do things the hard way, huh? You know me. I know you need to get moving. I'll finish up here. Ooh. There's a helicopter. Cops are after me. Yeah. All right. I, I can disable helicopters. I can't see the helicopter. Nice. Oh, fuck this. Just go. Drive into it. Do it. Oh. How do I... Disable the helicopter. Ah, there we go. Nice. All right, now let's get off the freeway here before he gets his lights back. And that was not ideal. Not what I wanted. Go, 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 go. I'm not connected here. Not great. Smash into him! Yeah, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not smash into him. Helicopter's still coming. One bullet left in the gun. Oh, wasn't enough. <laughs> okay. Let's get a faster car. Look up that way. See anyone? Think we lost the target? Yep, you lost your target. Good, good, good. Let's call it. We lost the guy. All right.
call me back? Did you find the guy we traced? Yeah. Yep. Some bad history there. Listen, I need to find someone else. This time I have a name, Elena Tucci. She's related to a guy I'm after. That should Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's hack the train. Live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location right now. Got her. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. Alright, I'll call you when I'm there. I may need more help. Okay, Lena Tucci. Is she related to Stanley Tucci? I'm getting there, guys. <laughs> uh, I am getting there. See? I didn't, at least I didn't crash that time. Okay. A wrench in the works. That's right. That's right. Okay, I'm at the Willis Tower. What do you got on Helena? Looking through her status updates. She likes selfies. Here she is making a duck face, a spiral face. She loves her cats too. Why are you targeting this clueless girl? I'm not. I need to find her uncle fast and Helena's gonna point the way. Okay, here's something. She posted a date this morning. Her outfit for the day, dark hair and glasses. And she's showing us a green backpack. Thank you, social media. Dark That's hair, start. glasses, green backpack. Hey, will you like one? Things are going out of business, Sam. Uh, no thanks. Distance. Okay. Hello? Miss Tucci, I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. We received your Uncle Angelo's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay. Thank you, man. Wait for it. Identity. Somebody wants my name. Well, 
Good luck with that. I'm uh, getting a little nervous here, Pierce. You find him? I'm tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice. Yep, don't worry guys, I'll be gone in just a minute. I just gotta kill this dude, and then I'll be out of here. Stairs. Ooh, there's a cop over there. Okay. There might be a better Angel way to do this. This guy's leading the prison transfer for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. Nobody wants my name. Good luck with that. Um, what happened to my control? Okay, there we go. <laughs> my controller turned off for a second. I'm tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Wow. All right. 
Things are heating up. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to break into prison. All right, I'll see you guys then.